Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Jeremy again. Um, bringing you a quick video on the 20 gallon reef. Got a few things to show you guys, a few things to talk about. So, First thing are all the new additions I got that will be eventually going into the um, the cube tank. This is a frag of blue-green Acropora. Um, the polyps aren't quite extended yet because it hasn't been in the tank too long. But it's a pretty color. Um, it's kind of hard to see because this camera sucks. But um, So that's going to be going in there. I got another frag, which I believe is Montipora, some species of Montipora, um, maybe Digitata, I'm not sure. It's kind of a reddish color, and you can see that there's been a bit of die-off on the edges. There's some white exposed spots where the polyps aren't there, but it's, it was five bucks in the store, so I thought I might be able to bring it back. Um, I got a nice, I believe it's a green Stylophora. Coral. Like I said, I'm not real good with SPS species yet, but I think it's Stylophora, and um, this has actually been doing really well. All the pops are extended and blowing gently in the current, so that's cool. And then I really like this uh, really nice red Monty cap that I got. Really pretty, great color. Um, some of the edges are a little cut up because I think they fragged it out and then put it on this plug, but yeah, that'll be going in there as well. So, <sighs> what else? Oh yeah, I also picked up this cool... Um, kind of metallic green color pally. Really, really big uh, polyps. The skirts on these things are really long too, so that's cool. Pick that up. But anyways, what I wanted to talk about is a couple weeks ago, if you remember, you know, I put that video up about the spiky thing, which I learned was a nudibranch, and it was very bad for my tank. And um, I was a little naive in thinking there was only one in the tank because I'd only seen one, well, it was because it was big. You know, upon closer inspection, I found lots in the tank. Um, I had a frag over here that I had to completely throw away because it was covered in them. But they're small, you know, and after doing research, you realize how clever they are. They basically, whatever zoa they're eating, they absorb the zoanthi um, from the coral and they turn the same color. It's pretty crazy adaptation, but um, they are wicked little buggers and... Basically, I found them on that piece, that piece. I found them on all of my corals at one point or another. So I've been um, trying to pick them off at night when I can, but it's just, you know, I'm not going to win this battle. I can already tell. So basically what I'm going to have to do is, because um, all of these frags are grown onto the live rock itself or glued down, I can't pull them off. So the whole rock is going to have to be removed and um, put in a bath. I... This is I should have been doing this all along, but you know, you learn, you live and learn. Um, so I've got a bottle of Coral RX Coral Dip, and um, as you can see, it removes Acropora eating flatworms, Montipora eating nudibranches, and Zoanthid eating nudibranches. So I'm gonna have to make a bath with this, and um, ironically, it's actually made in Boca Raton, Florida, which is like 20 minutes from my house. But anyways, um, yeah, so. Uh, all of these rocks are going to have to be physically removed from the tank and put in the uh, the dip. What I'm going to do is, I got some spare tanks, um, I'm going to put the bath solution in this 5 gallon and uh, put a power head in there and have it stir it around for 5 to 10 minutes, which is what the bottle says. And then I'm going to put them in some clean salt water in the 10 gallon uh, and let it soak in there for a while and hopefully that will eradicate all the nudie branches. And, um, I have been wanting to rescape this tank for a while, so having to do this will give me the opportunity to do that as well. Um, saw a couple cool videos on YouTube. I think uh, Roger from the Klein just posted a new video of his rescape, but lots of people are doing columns, which I might try. You know, this is this is more of a uh, you know just spread out all over the tank approach. I might just try like a big column here and a big column here, um, like some other people have been doing, but. Um, yeah, hopefully this will eradicate the nudie branches from my tank because I've been uh, fighting a losing battle and I don't want to get a, another fish that's kind of hit and miss on whether or not it will eat them. So, anyways, wish me luck, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get all the chores done today and then I'll definitely bring you a new video once everything's been scrubbed and uh, cleaned and put back in the tank. So, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.